Okay, well. That's a good start. <laughs> Welcome everybody back to some more Sons of the Forest. I'll be honest with you guys. I just wanted to go out doing a little bit of exploring and hunting today. I know we uh, we used to do that quite a lot on the other island. And seeing as though everything's been pretty chaotic so far with like learning what's going on and basically running for our lives in a non-stop escape from the mutants and the cannibals. Thought I'd familiarize myself a little bit with my surroundings. So just going to slow everything down. Have a look at, you know, what's going on in certain places. Maybe pick up a few tips and things like that. There is one thing that I do want to try. I'm going to just grab some of these berries. Might need them. They definitely don't fill me up, but they can tie me over until I find something. I do need to find some, uh, some compound arrows. And actually, this is as good a spot as any. I don't think there's any any cannibal camps in the nearby area so what i'm gonna do real quick let me just break <laughs> oh my god <sighs> i had to open my mouth i can hear you walking through there you are well you deserve that get me back Honestly, that scream. <laughs> it really gets the heart going. Like, it really does. Okay, so, as I was saying, I was going to stop back there and do something, but I just changed my mind instantly because it's pretty good for an ambush. Maybe something like here? Is a good spot? Yeah, yeah. A little bit more in the open. This works. Right, so, I guess we're going to grab a couple of sticks. Oh, good. Got some friends. Put them down. All right, let's see what you're doing first. Oh, yeah, I knew you'd come in when I was messing with that. Whoa. Just going to jump down. Oh! Oh, I thought that went through his lungs, so he was coughing because it was in his... <sighs> Of course. I need... Oh, I missed. I thought I got that. Can we hit the tree or something? Yeah. Give me them back. Well, got a fight in our hands. Oh, are you going to pick him up? Oh, I love this. Oh. It's like he's looking at him like he's weak. Look at that. Oh, so good. Go down. There's another one behind you there. Just gonna watch what he does. At this point, we're just studying them, right? We're staying on the island, so we need to work out how they work. Need them to fear me, okay? Not the other way around. Even though I did scare the bejesus out of me on that walkway a second ago. All right. Well, we got some bones, and I could probably put a fire under him and then obviously burn him up. But yeah, I just want to try this out first. So, what I originally wanted to do was something you guys said. The voice is in my head. <laughs> Giving me suggestions while I'm sleeping. Let's chop this down. And then... I'm just going to pick one of these up. And maybe... Like there. We'll take a little off the top with this. And then maybe one of those there. I don't think I've really had a chance to say to you guys... Like how I feel about the whole... Like the building mechanics and stuff. And the changes that they've made. I absolutely love them. I really, really do. There's limitations like there is with everything. But so far, I mean, I've not made anything complex. You'll see over there, we're actually building something specific, which we'll get to. But yeah, so far, I'm really, really impressed with, with how the building works. Actually, what I want to do there is just drop that, right? And then, oh, there it was. Wait, is that right? See, this bit's a little bit fiddly. There we go. And then... We'll get there. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Bear with me, okay? <laughs> there it is. And pick one of these up. Aha. Oh, and it cracks it just like that. Okay. The same one. Oh, so, so you can pretty much... Is that all you can do with it? I mean, I'm saying, oh, is that all you can do with it? Is I mean, is that the most you can place on it? Can we get another line there? There we go. 
Gotta be quite precise. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. What was that? Was that just... Yeah, I think that was just to place it down. Okay, so good to know then. Oh, it's Virginia. Okay. So if we fire this up... That's going to keep things burning for a, a good amount of time now then. <laughs> Thanks, Virginia. Guarana berries. I don't think I've seen those yet. What do they do? You look so cool in your new outfit as well. If you're wondering, if you're wondering where I found that, it's at the broken down helicopter. She uh, she kind of came running up to me in the uh, in the colder months, and uh, she pointed it out to me, which was really really cool. So she's got a new outfit to wear. I really want some compound arrows. I want to do some bow hunting. So we're on the uh, we're on the lookout. Where am I headed here? Let me have a look. So I kind of want to go in that direction. Yeah, and then just keep it moving. All right, we're gonna cover some ground here. Again, I don't really have a destination. I've got a rough area of where I want to look around. You'll remember a few episodes back when me and Fisk were trying to locate the, what I'm going to call the bunker. There was like an island that was off by itself. I thought I saw a face. There was an island that was kind of off by itself. And I think it might be cool to go and check that out too. If we're in that area, I mean. So there's a couple of things that I could get done. But like I was saying, we're just going to take it slow, see what we come across. This rabbit, like, the fur on it is so eye-catching. Again, all the more reason why I want to do some hunting. I want to tick off a lot of the, uh, the food supply. What we got to mess with. I do miss this, though. I really do. All right, let's have a little bit of fun. We haven't used this all that much, so let's fire you in there. I don't know what the range on this thing is. I can't imagine it's like forever. So, oh, there we go. I can see it already there. Look at that. How far can we go? I'm pretty much already across the lake, so. <laughs> and then there. Oh, that's going to be cool. I mean, it's completely pointless because I'm already down here, but <laughs> two steps forward, five steps back just for a little bit of fun. Hoping I can reach that. Yeah, that should be okay. And then... We want to go this way. Oh, we're going to hit that tree. Oh, no, no, we missed it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Let's get the, uh, get the dopamine going. Try and dial in that aim. I really love how this thing reloads as well. Look at that shot. Oh, <laughs> oh. you guys see these? That's a trap. So this one's going to bait me in. And these two here are just waiting. What would be really freaky about these is I know they're going to explode out of them. But what would be really freaky about them is if you could see them breathing. Like it's moving. You know, like a... Like underneath, like they're just anticipating me getting close. Let's see what we got to play around with them. How about a grenade? Can I cook this thing? And then... We didn't get him. Okay. Well, they're learning. They clearly know what a grenade is. Right, which direction were we headed? This one? So we got the big old lake down that way. Yeah, let's keep moving then. Parallel to me right now. Put a bit of distance between us and them. No! Oh my no! god, you no! fuck! Oh, just a little bit above. See, that's going to be my Achilles heel, getting the uh, the smaller animals like the squirrels and rabbits, because when I use the crossbow, you kind of have to compensate for it aiming a little bit higher. It's not like dead on where you think you... <coughs> what in the hell? I don't even... Oh, there. That's me telling you guys about how I'm trying to dial in my aim when I'm hunting. And these guys make those weird sounds. We take them out nice and quiet. He's wounded. He's dead. We'll leave him there. 
let his friends pick him up. But yeah, like I was saying, the um, the smaller animals are really what it's going to get me. I'll show you guys real quick. If you look on the tree right there, I'll aim right above the notch. If you look at the very end of the crossbow, there's like a little uh, line that you would think you would aim for. But you see that? It actually goes quite a bit higher. I'm a little bit on edge here. Let's keep moving. But yeah, my, uh, my point being is that it goes a little bit higher. So you kind of have to compensate for that. Usually I see them at one end or another. Is that one? Yep. You can catch them drinking and stuff like that. Let's get over. They're just so weird. Is that feet? Yeah, it is. On the side of her head. Got like a torso over there as well. So, so strange. I'm going to leave those little guys in there. I know I can come back for them if I need them. It's not really what I'm after. Alright, we got a deer there. Probably follow that in all honesty and see. Okay, that works. Our first little bit of meat. We'll take it. I was going to say I could probably follow it and try and get an opportunistic shot. Can't guarantee anything with this, but when it's that close... I'm not going to want to miss that chance. Just kind of continuing in this direction. Again, no rhyme or reason. Just exploring. Up ahead, I can see there's like a, a path that we can follow. Some mushrooms. Oh, no, that's a squirrel. <laughs> that was some mushrooms. Certain parts of this, I feel like I recognize. And then we'll like crest a hill or something and it will just be completely alien to me like this seems familiar is it familiar oh you know what this might be this might be the route that we took down to the beach yeah i think it is and over there was the uh like the emergency raft right yeah there it is i see it okay so it is familiar but certain parts to me like i'll just be wandering through i like have i been here before okay grenades more explosives. Those poor guys. I really don't know where I'm going to find some compound arrows. I'm going to keep looking because <laughs> I need them and I really want them. Now, I know I can use as well. If I switch to my uh, my compound bow, I can switch to these. But it's just, <laughs> just don't get the job done, right? <laughs> this thing is it's way better than in my opinion. There we go. Got ourselves another one. At least we know we're going to be eating okay. All this meat that we can. It's a shame to waste this as well because there's a lot more on there that we can use. Like all that hide and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it feels like we're in a bit of a rush, but I, I feel like we could take more off that. Oh, it'd be cool if there was a way that you could shrink it up, you know, and then dry out the carcass. Another one over there, too. Kind of following this area here, because I just noticed it kind of goes to nowhere. I don't think there's anything here, unless I'm missing it. There's another deer there. Yeah, I don't see anything. All right, we're just going to keep going in that direction. There's a way down here to the left as well. That's going to be crossing the, uh, the river again, though. Kind of interested to see what's up there, to be honest. Found another, like, little pond on the GPS, so thought we'd come and check it out. Don't know what's over here. Probably nothing, but we'll have a look. The wind's kicking up, too. Listen to that. Something about the wind that makes you feel really alone, you know? When is that's all you can hear? Is that just me? Or does anyone else get that? When you're out in nature and you hear that... And it just disguises every other sound. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> I mean, your food. But, yeah, I'm going to let you finish enjoying your little swim. <laughs> There's two of them as well. It's adorable. It'd be really, really handy if we could find some, like, climbing gear as well. 
scale that stuff. Or even leave some ropes on there so we could abseil it. That'd be nice. Right, let's have a look where we are. Still kind of following that track round. This might be a stupid move, but... I'm going to try and dig my heels in. In this bit here. There we go. And kind of scoot across to this. And then just drop down. It's actually not a bad shout to actually look down here because I am running low on quite a few things. What's that? Just the blueberries? I'm running low on quite a few things and I just generally need to stock up on everything. Building and fighting through the elements, especially the cold, it really, really takes out of you. And you can imagine how many calories you use. So, yeah, just trying to find anything that we can use to survive another day. Yeah, it seems pretty bare. No boats or anything, just that driftwood out there and anything that's been swept in from the ocean. It's definitely getting much darker now, so... Guess I'm just going to set up a little camp here. Actually, you know what? We'll do uh, we'll do our little technique that we just learned. I wonder if I can use this stuff. No, that turns it into sticks. There we go. You know what I might do here as well? I might make like a, a little get. -out. Oh, it's just the logs. I might make like a little, uh, little getaway area. Just if we need to relax or just think about some stuff, we can always come back here. Get all these logs stacked up because I can make a bench and stuff as well. I think I'm just going to throw together the, uh, the makeshift shelter with the tarp and some sticks. Don't think there's any need to, to go crazy. <laughs> That's not the log. It's these ones here. Yeah, so I'll grab that one. I was going to leave it. Yeah, just like overlooking the ocean. Quite a little peaceful spot. <laughs> Am I going insane, guys? <laughs> We've already been here too long. Right, let's have a look then. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get some firewood. Chop this thing all the way down. And we'll just use it as a stack for the firewood. So one and two. I think we can only use one of these, right? So drop you there. Just got to get this right. First time. Nice. We like that. Crack that. Oh, it's so satisfying. It really is. Crack that too. Light it up. Now, should we go for some deer? I know I have some squirrel as well, but I think we should probably go for some deer. One. Ah, uh, let's treat ourselves too. And um, what do we have to actually drink? Do we have anything? Yeah, we do have a soda. I'm just going to go ahead. <laughs> and make one of these. <laughs> you guys already know. You never have too many of these. See, we got like three cans of can first. Uh, sorry, three cans of cat food. We got one energy drink. I got some cereal as well. I got an egg. Should we try a turtle egg? Let's eat that. Is that okay? Yeah, I think we're alright. I think it's just something again, just to tie us over, right? It's not gonna be a big old meal. I think our deer meat's ready. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's grub out while we can. Some cooked meat. I think I'm going to throw together like a, uh, a little bench, maybe. What else could we make? It's so like... One thing that I really thought you could do with this stuff. Like, even these. Just throw them down. Let me show you guys what I mean. If I can take this one off. And then just put it down like there. I would love the, like, the ability just to be able to... Just plop yourself on there. You know? <laughs> Just use it as a chair. But, yeah, I don't think you can. I mean, maybe there's a way of doing it, but... I would imagine that you should be able to do that. Let's get this back on there. Let's get rid of this piece. Let's leave that over that side. And I think... We got our little home away from home. Not too bad, right? <laughs> we are quite exposed, but this will definitely do the trick. And what a view. I don't know if you can actually see the uh, the great white sharks as well, like when they just like explode out of the water. I don't know if it's got to be around something, but I'd love to see that. Or maybe if there's a chance of seeing orcas coming by. Again, I don't know if that's a thing. I know this island's got them because they're everywhere, unless they were hunted at one point. But 
Yeah, all right, let's throw a shelter together then. Got one of the tarps. Put you down like... I put it there. That'd be perfect. Oh, yes, we can. And then get rid of that. Put one of these up. You only really need to put like one in it and then you're good to go. It'd also be really nice if you could put something down, you know, as if you're going to lay on it rather than just those rocks. Because I'm not a caveman, though. I will put two of them up. Get it nice. <laughs> get it looking homely. Might not be the best idea, though, facing the ocean with those ocean winds coming in. Might be freezing. Probably want to be closer to the fire, but this'll do. This'll do me fine. Okay, well, you're joining me in the morning. Last night was pretty uneventful. Nothing really happened. It is right now. Yeah, just gone 6.30 in the morning, so... I think it's time for some breakfast. And <laughs> deer meat's on the menu. There we go. We'll throw that on. I actually do need something to drink as well. So what did we say we had? I've got the uh, the flask that's full of water. But I think we're going to start with some energy drinks. And then we definitely need to find more of that. That's going to definitely take the uh, the thirst away. We'll, uh, we'll just use a little bit of this. And that should top us all the way off. And we've got some in reserve too. We can always find like a little river or something or a pond to fill it up as well. Yeah, like I've been saying though, we've been quite lucky with finding things across the uh, shoreline. We don't always find something, but little things like soda cans or little bits like that. I don't think we can pick that up though. I've definitely not got the balls to go out there in the ocean and just start exploring. So if you guys are thinking about that, then that is definitely off the menu. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon got the rebreather and all that but yeah i don't think yeah you're gonna catch me going out there especially knowing that there are great whites out there and, and i don't know what else just don't know what is patrolling the island so i think we'll stick to land for now you see when i see this here i know that's probably a much bigger distance than it looks but i can't help but think how cool it would be to fire a grappling rope <laughs> to swing right across that i've got a little boat here too does this one say anything? This one looks a little bit different. They've all been uh, like a, a lighter shade of blue. Maybe that's just because of time. These barrels as well. We could definitely make use of those. Circuit board. There we go. Energy bar. That's useful to us. Another crate. MRE. That will definitely help. Yeah, those targets. Actually, let me have a look. Don't we have one of those? I wonder if we can just, like, yeah, paper target. Can we put that onto a tree? Or anywhere, I guess? Is that just the wind from the ocean? I'd like a base to it. It scared the shit out of me then. I thought something was behind me growling. And what about if we get up there and then try and get it onto a tree? Oh, there we go. We got some more augers. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna shelf this for now. I'll play around with that a little bit later on, but that actually might be good for learning this, seeing where the uh, the drop is and stuff like that. All that's gonna help while you're out there, especially if you're sticking to like one weapon. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I got this. Okay, <laughs> this is really gonna help me out close quarters. But especially if I want to go hunting, or if I want to keep my distance from something, it's nice just to have that target to uh, to dial everything in. So, what took you guys out? Got loads of gouge marks in it, but that could have been after it's been beached, right? Really want to know the story behind this. Looks like there's been, like, a, a fight at some points, too, because some of them, you can see, they've taken out a few of the, cannibal a few of the cannibals. Wow, the tail of that one is just missing. Some coins. Definitely needed those. There's some of the bodies. Some cloth. More coins. Sorry, man. You're not going to be using it. See, the shoes as well. I'd be love to be able to take those. You know? Like, in the colder conditions, if we need to mix up our clothing. That would be really, really nice. There's plenty of them to go around as well. These guys aren't going to be using them. Some more molotovs that we can make there. The vodka bottles. Can we grab it? There we go. Really have a use for all the uh, 
the money, but I'll definitely hang on to it. Stoke the fires and stuff. Okay, not bad. But yeah, if you guys were wondering about orcas, by the way, if you've never heard that before, or you don't really show an interest <laughs> too much in, like, the ocean and stuff, you definitely should, because orcas are incredibly intelligent. They really are. When they work together to take something out, like a seal or anything, if you've never seen how they displace a seal off, like, an iceberg and stuff, I don't know if any of you guys are interested in this, but it's so impressive. It really is. And the, the fact that they can just, like, render sharks in, like, a paralyzed position and then just eat what they want off of them, it just shows that everybody thinks great white sharks are the thing to fear in the ocean, but if those guys really wanted to snack on us, oh, it'd be over. Like, the level of intelligence is just insane. But, yeah, I don't know if you guys care about stuff like that. I find it really interesting. Like, this guy over here. Look at it. Patrolling the waters. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm the biggest, baddest dude around here. No, you're not. Because if a couple of those things were alive, you'd be done. You would literally be food. Or you'd be its plaything. All right. Let's try the, uh, the sign, then. Because we're messing around with it before. I'm not entirely sure how we do it. Maybe you have to throw a stick down first, but... Be good. Oh, there we go. Place you there. And then, if we wanted to, grab this. And want to aim about there, right? Reload. See where that went. Oh, that actually went a lot lower than I thought. Okay. Right. Let's aim that again. A little bit higher. Why is that going so much lower now? Go a little bit. Actually, stay here. We'll use this as, like, the measuring thing. Like, there. That's really dropping now. It went up before. Maybe it's the terrain. I'm just going to try it from here and see what the drop is like. Can't, can't quite see the notch anymore. It's almost turned a little bit. You see how there's like sway on it now? Don't think that would have hit where I wanted it to. Damn, where did that hit? Did I miss? Where did that go? Alright, get me back. Yeah, I have no idea where that went. That's a stick. Okay. Well, this is all just another reason as why I want to stick to it, <laughs> to what I know with the compound bow. But, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that tells me I need a little bit more practice working out where everything goes. Alright, let's see where we are then. We're at the end of this. Okay, there's another part of the beach. It opens up. You guys might recognize this. <laughs> it's where we had a little bit too much fun with the uh, with the sleds while we were escaping the cannibals. Oh, wait, is this the stuff? Oh, that's what they are. That's what Virginia gave me before. And speaking of, I don't know where she's gone. She was right on my six earlier, but she's completely disappeared now. All right, let's see where we are, because I know this area further around that way. I'm going to run into some trouble, because those guys are everywhere there, so... I guess let's just get back on the path and see where it takes us. Yeah, there's no way. I can't imagine the power this thing would need as well to propel that all the way across. Well, <laughs> I did try. It would be amazing, and there's probably a way that we can do it, but maybe for another time. I don't think I've actually been to the top of this, so let's have a look. Oh. Some more graves. Does that mean there's going to be these guys nearby? Because they like digging them up, right? Oh, wait. Where are we right now? Oh, okay. So I kind of switched back from where I was. Well, see what we can get. All right, some food, some wire. Let's get this done nice and quick. As much dignity as possible. Digging up graves isn't really something I enjoy doing. There we go, just some more food. And even if the last one's got some more canned food, I mean, I'll take it. Will definitely help. we go. Oh, some rope. Okay. It's actually not a bad find. 
Is there a way that you can... I really wish you could cover them back up. Oh, uh, you kind of, but it, then it, it disappears. Yeah. I mean, it's good that we've got the uh, the ability to do that and get something that they're not going to use, but want to give them their dignity back and just cover them back up. <laughs> Arrow leaf. Wonder if we can combine that with any of that guarana fruit. Guarana, I want to say. Probably butchering that, but let's have a look. So it's this stuff, right? Let's eat that. What about if we... Okay, we can't combine it, so it's just like the berries. It's just a berry we can use then. We can combine Devil's Club with Fireweed and Chicory. Let's go ahead and do that. And I always forget which ones these are because it's so different. Energy Mix Plus. Okay, let's eat that. I hear you, you son of a bitch. Where are you? You can't help yourself, can you? Where is it? It's definitely here. I just heard it. There you are. Going from the trees. You bringing your friends in too? All right. Let's see what they do. What did that one just do? Did that one just... Oh, I thought he smacked the other one away. Fighting for food. Look at that. The silhouette of those creepy things. The skinny bodies and their long limbs just jumping from tree to tree. One of them's going to make a move in a minute. I'm going to try and take a leg off. I recognize that laugh too. Sounds like more are coming in. Oh shit, yeah, there are more coming in. I hate that when they just sit on the rock. I've got like four or five here now. I should probably move to be honest, but... Stay here, see what happens. Right, this one's thinking about coming in. Look at that. Oh, that's so horrible. Come on, then. You want to do this? Come on. All right. I got to track him. That's a lot of meat for me. Come on. Stay with him. Keep eyes on. Top of the hill. Still got those guys on my six, but I'm not worried about them. Don't know if that was a hit. I think that might have been a miss. Shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know if that was the same one. But oh, moose down. All right, quickly use it. I'm gonna have a lot of time. Get what you can. There's still a lot of meat on there that we can use. Even the antlers, we could use them as well. You're just gonna be a pain in the ass. Grab a little something to drink while we can. Keep it moving. There was actually two moose around here. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure which one I took down then. But because one was so close, I didn't want to pass up that chance. I've got a fair amount of food on me now. I can recook this as well, which should be okay, I think. 
We'll have to see. Kind of just want to get these guys off my tail, to be honest. Right, let's have a look. There's the other moose. That's not the one I originally shot, right? Yeah, no. I think that one would have been down by now. All right, so we've got that direction. Let's go this way. I think this is the way to the um, to the old runway, right? We'll see if we can get some supplies from those cases. There's another one there. All right, so that one went through its arm. Leg. Now, you can disable them as well, like... If they're coming towards you. That's what I was trying to do back there. I was trying to take a limb off. I just don't really focus too much on that because... <laughs> it's trying to take them down as quick as possible. Put some distance between me and them. And I know I said this before, but this... <laughs> Couldn't imagine what it'd be like seeing one of them in the wild. I hear they're quite aggressive too. They're, they're like one of the... Ooh... I hear they're um, they're quite aggressive, and they're such a massive animal. There's been instances where moose have kicked bears to death and stuff like that. So, which tells you all you need to know. Like, you guys already know how terrifying bears can be, and if like one kick off one of these things is enough to just end a bear, <laughs> you know it's not an animal to take lightly. Oh, I don't think he knows I'm here. You solo? Not interacting with the wild. Tango down. Alright, I've got a little group over there to the left. Just trying to remain a little bit low key while I'm moving off. You can see them through the uh, through the glass there. You see that? They're going up that way. There's one right there too. If I needed any day, oh, there's more back there. Can I get rid of you just by? Oh damn, that still goes quite far. I didn't think we'd get that kind of range with this. And shoo you away. That just hit the plane. Nice. Okay. Just don't really want to get into a, a huge fight with these guys while I'm looting. I want to have a look around. I know we got like a pilot's outfit from here. Some wire, some medicine. Energy bars. There we go. It's about time I got one. Those guys are still over there. What's with that horrific scream as well? <laughs> Always makes you feel so bad. Pretty sure that would be like... Sure that would be an instant kill. Just like that would have been. All right, here we go. These are the guys that I actually do worry about because they really pack a punch. Don't hit them in the head. They get a few slaps off. They can just damage your armor. Look at him. Can I disable a leg? You should be scared. Let's get rid of that armor you've got on your head. Are you going to hobble away? I want to see if he does that. Because I put one of the uh, the bolts through his leg. I'm letting him go. He is hobbling. That one over there is eating their own. We've seen them cry before. Why you just sat down this? Oh my god, I... Virginia, that scared the... Oh. Just took away a little bit of my armor, you bitch. Thanks for the backup. <laughs> I was wondering where you got to. Right, I'm gonna go through the rest of these. Batteries, some more tape. What? Him? Or the deer? We're okay. I've got plenty of food. I should get rid of you, though. 
There we go. I think we're good, Virginia. I think they've gone. Yeah, they've got all their dead back there. Could take the time to uh, to burn them and get the bones, but it's going to keep it moving. Don't want to stay in this area for too long. Actually saying that, yeah, look, they are staying in this area. No, no, it's okay. He deserved it. All right, we can start heading over in that direction. It is getting really dark now. One more of these here. Okay, I'm glad with what we found. I got plenty of batteries as well. So, let's see. If we go, like, that way, we got a little cave that we can set up. I'm going to go this way, Virginia, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, yep. This is way more terrifying. Where's that cave? I know I put a marker down. Just over there, okay. I think Virginia's still with me as well. Come on. Should just be up ahead. Alright, we found it. Let's get in here. Wait, was this? Was this this flooded last time? I remember seeing this, but I don't remember it being like this high up the waterline, unless I just didn't notice it. That's really freaky as well. Look at that. Get rid of that. I can't really put anything down here. I guess there. Yeah, this will have to do. All right. It's not going to be comfortable, but I'll have to make it work. There we go. Damn, that's bright. Okay, so it turns out you can actually cook off the uh, the rotten meat, which is really good news for us because I'm not wasting anything, especially from that moose meat. And we'll have that one too. And then, which one should I have? I'm just going to have the water, I think. Just drink up. It's really hard to see. It's cold, it's wet, but it's better than being out there with all that crap. <laughs> Poor Virginia's still out there though. Okay, I think I'm going to set up a little place to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, possibly one of, if not the worst night's sleep we've had while being on this island. There's no sign of Virginia either. Let's see if we can find her. Oh, she's over there. <laughs> she's probably still taking care of business. Okay, so what time are we on then? Eight o'clock in the morning. And kind of want to go up the mountain a little bit. Get that bird's eye view, you know? Let's just see if we've got everything that we need. I know we got that nice warm jacket, which should be, there we go, the winter jacket. Let's throw that on for a second. Do we have any extra bones? Yeah, we do. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got a good amount, some tape. Just a little bit extra armor. May as well. If you've never scaled a mountain or like a, a big hill or anything like that, just moving up the side of one like this, oh, it really takes it out of your thighs and your calves. A lot of core involved in it too. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, guys. It's great, it's great, great exercise. I mean, obviously, you got to be careful. You don't want to go tumbling down something like this. But yeah, if, you, if you're thinking this looks exhausting, it really, really is. And I've never really done this in punishing conditions either. Like maybe a little bit of rain. But I can't imagine what it'd be like when you get to this type of stuff. Like the cold climates and things like that. <sighs> that must be an entirely different beast to tackle. But yeah, it really... It really does... Oh, it's, it's because we've hit the snow. It really does hurt your uh, your thighs and your calves. It's probably thinking people out there thinking, what are you talking about? I do that literally all the time and it's fine. Yeah, it might be for you. But for me, this was exhausting. That's so strange seeing you guys up here. <sighs> you really want to do this? You're definitely not wearing the clothing for being up here. I wonder if you feel the cold like I think you do. 
Let me, uh... Let me give you the katana. Oh my god! That's what you were doing, you shit. Okay. Alright. You're so lucky that that didn't take your arm off. Okay. Your friend's done. You want to dance? I warned you. Give me your uh, prison wallet as well. She'll probably open these. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh my god. You don't want to wait one minute, do you? If I back up, are you going to eat your friends? Are you going to be that stupid? I'm going to try and get around the back. Go over there and eat your friends. And that's actually the first time that I've seen these guys in the snow as well. It would be so cool with what they're wearing if they moved a little slower and cumbersome because of, like, the temperatures. Again, I don't know if it affects them, but it would be so cool to see that. Or even, like, effects of the snow on their clothing or, like, face and stuff. Or even just shivering, you know? Just, like, if they're up here, like, hunting me down or on my tracks. If I turn around, if they're crouched, they're, like, shivering. But they're so hungry for human flesh. That they're willing to take that gamble of going through the snow. <laughs> it could be so good. I don't know. Maybe in time. There's a lot of updates coming, so... Maybe we'll see some of those changes. Do I want to scale the top of that? Kind of do. Oh. Oh, look what it is! Oh, okay. I, I was more focused on what that was down there than I remember we've seen that before. It's like the uh, the old sleds. So we got like a camp. Oh, wow. You got... Oh. Well, again, you guys are not going to be using this stuff, are you? So... I'll gladly take it. Look at the color of him. You are definitely not dressed for these conditions. I mean, you got your uh, your helmet on, but you, know, you should be getting a lot more heavier clothing than that. And this? Oh, is it broken? Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Right. Hold on. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, this is either going to go really, really well or really, really bad. I think. It's that one there, isn't it? Yeah, this one is the one we went to before. That's the kind of the one in between, or I guess near the helicopter crash. And that's where we're building. Isn't it? Yeah, I think I can see Kelvin's tag, so... Or Clevin's tag. Excuse me. <laughs> Said the name wrong. Right. We're about to go. Here it is. Oh, what? Oh, instant air. Oh, this is so cool.
much fun. And you get a lot of airtime too. Hey, Clevin. <laughs> Can you imagine his face? Let's do a flyby. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. We nailed it into the water. Oh, Clevin, you have to try this. It would be so much fun if I took you up there and brought you down with this. Okay, let me leave that there for a second. All right, guys. So, <laughs> just a little bit of a kind of expedition exploring around. I'm so glad that we found that. I really, really didn't think that we would. But yeah, just like old times, going around, doing a little bit of hunting, getting a little bit of revenge as well as always nice. If you are wondering about this as well, we are going to get to this. We've been a little bit distracted lately, but we are absolutely going to get to this. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, but yeah, we're just working out a few things. Believe it or not, this, the kind of slope on this was by far the hardest part. It just would not work with us. If you're wondering how we've done it, we've had to like put it into segments to actually get that kind of angle. But yeah, I'm sure some of you guys know what it is. And if you don't, hopefully it's going to look really, really good when it's finished. For now, though, guys, if you are still enjoying Sons of the Forest. Please drop a like on the videos. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.